is our work as ambassadors of the kingdom. Number one, we have to represent Jesus and the kingdom of God in every area of our lives. The Bible says, let your attitude be as that of Christ. Your attitude, our character, our behavior should be that of the one we are representing. Paul said, the life I now live, it is not me who live, but Christ who lives in me. So for us to be able to represent God, Jesus Christ released his spirit upon us. The night he was betrayed, he broke the bread and he said, this is my body. You are going to represent me and I have to do something to this your nature that has fallen. He broke the bread and he spread himself upon the disciples. After giving his body, he now said, no, it is not enough for my body to become yours, for you to abide in the vine. I am the vine, you are the branches. For you to abide, there has to be a link through blood. Any part of your body that is not connected to you by blood is not part of your body. So Jesus took the cup and said, this is my blood that is shed for you. Drink it. And he gave it to them. The life of every living thing is in where? It's in the blood. So Jesus gave us his blood. He did not stop there. He gave us his word. He did not stop there. He also gave us his spirit so that we can be the true sons of God. For as many that are led by the spirit of God, they are the ones. They are the sons of God. And after then he said, now you go into the world and make disciples of all nations. Remember what happened in the Garden of Eden. After God created man, man was lifeless. And God breathed into the nursery of man. And man became a living soul. God gave us his very life. And when Jesus was recreating man, the fallen man, from not looking like the first Adam, but to look like him, who was the second Adam, he breathed into them and said, Receive ye the Holy Ghost.